Sister Yvonne, come on up, give her a hand, everybody. Praise the Lord, glory to God. Great word, amen. That's what I'm talking about. I want to see you function and flow in your gift, in your call, in your anointing. And, and so there's freedom in here. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty and freedom. Amen. So our sister Yvonne, I've seen both of these ladies and other men and women in this in this preaching laboratory flourish, and I just rejoice to see the Lord unfolding and using you and taking you all to a new level. So praise your heart, guys. Now, do I have enough time, uh, Pastor Nick? Do I have enough time, Pastor Nick? Do I have enough time for a testimony or to preach? Yeah, if you'd like to give a good, strong testimony, you can come back and preach. Okay, praise God. First of all, I just want to give honor to God. Amen. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of excited because I thought I was going to be a little nervous coming up here, but I begin to speak the word of God and Amen. it's been Amen. preached over us and just, you know, I'm just believing God that he's going to give me what to say tonight. Amen. And, you know, um, first of all, I just really wanted to say that uh, after being here at Grace for about two years now, praise God, uh, I find this place to be just a tremendous place to, to yes. be. And what I like about Grace Christian Church is that they reach people. I mean, they're really reaching souls. Praise God. And they're building believers. They're really building believers. They're reflecting God through the love, through their love. And the services that they provide here. And, you know, I, I come a long way. I've been, the Lord saved me as a young person when I was in my early teens. And I got married young. And I, I didn't know anything about salvation, deliverance, didn't know anything about being filled with the Holy Ghost. So I, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law began to work on me and begin to witness to me. I gave my heart to the Lord, like I said, some years back. It's been a long time. I've been in the Lord a long time. But when I, once I came here, I began to see that I needed to be developed. I needed a new path. I needed a new yeah. discipleship. I needed God to build me in new ways. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And you know, the scripture says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, yeah. Yeah. but the Lord uh -huh. shall deliver us out of them all. Amen. God has delivered me out of a many a trial, the many a test. Right. And I'm standing here believe, knowing that God is able to do exceedingly yeah. and abundantly Amen. above all that we can ask or think. Amen. It's according to the power that works in us. Amen. Praise right. God. So I just want to share with you tonight. Uh, I want you to say these words after me. Surrender. Submit. Submit. Obey. Obey. As I uh, was going through some things here recently, it looked like I, I sensed that God wanted me to come into a new place of submission, of obedience, and surrender. So when I looked up the word surrender, it means to yield possession of. Submit, almost like the surrender, but it says to place under. Obey means to act in accordance with or be guided by. So I just want to drop this thought in your heart tonight. As I was beginning to study uh, the, the word the other day, and this was after God had to just make me humble and submissive because I was like Martha, always busy, always running around trying to find things to do. And I had to break myself. I had to get up and I had to go and I begin to grab my Bible, I begin to read, and I love Ephesians. I, I look oh, like I was telling me out of the book of Ephesians. So as I share this with you tonight, I just want you to know, it says, let's be strong in the battle to be worthy of our rewards. And as I was saying before, the Lord was giving me some thoughts out of Ephesians. And I, as I read and I got up, I went into the kitchen, and I began to kind of meditate on a, a friend of mine who had just recently passed. And I remember when he and his wife had come into ministry, they were just out there in the secular world, just all, I mean, in drugs, you name it, they were in, in, in those things. But after they came and surrendered their lives to God, I began watching their growth in God and their development. And this young man ended up being a, a, not only a minister, a soloist, he just took steps just up, up. God just kept elevating him. And as I began to just think about him, I said, oh, God, what a wonderful man he turned out to be. 
And as I spoke it, I heard the Lord speaking to my spirit, Revelations 22 and 12. He said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. And then it amplified, it says, Behold, I am coming soon, and I shall bring my wages and rewards with me, to repay and render to each one just what his own action and his own work merits. In other words, that value. Praise God. So as I, I, I just want to just share something here because I said, Lord, wait a minute. Give me something that I could really say and share that would really help my sisters and brothers. Like I said, I've come a long way, but I said, God, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to give what, what you have given and put me into my heart. And this is what, what, what has happened just recently. Uh, praise God. Let me, let me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. My first presentation to you today would be in the area of walking with God, which requires surrendering our will, submit, submitting to the call of God upon our lives, and walking through the through, through with the power of the Holy Spirit Amen. in obedience. Praise Amen. God. Part of what called me to do has to do with prayer and intercession. And many times I've been awakened at various times early in the morning. <laughs> and I just would, would lay there wide at it, you know, perky as a jaybird. You know what I'm saying? Knowing I should get up to pray, but I would respond just unsubmissively. I wouldn't get up. I'd lay there. And wrestled with myself till I, I went back to sleep, right? Okay. However, one morning, as I awoke, praise God, I asked God to help me to surrender and to submit to his call and to give me an obedient spirit, praise God. So as I lay there, I could see one of my, my former mothers from my former church. I called her Mother Miles. And uh, praise God. In, in, in this little vision, I was seeing her testify. And she said how God would awake her often, many times early in the morning. And she, 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 she didn't want to get up, but because she knew her duty was to intercede and pray for souls. She said, I'm going to respond. I'm going to be obedient. So when I began to hear that in my, in my heart, I said, oh, God. Immediately, I got out of the bed. I went into another room. I got on my knees, and the Holy Spirit began to usher me right into the presence of God. And I would begin speaking in tongues, praise God. And as I was engaging in prayer, I, I was soon calling names, and particularly a neighbor's friend that I had met months prior. And as uh, I began to pull down strongholds that were over her and her family, praise God. And in a forceful way, I knew God was bringing victory, praise God. And I just want to say, surrender, submit, and obey. Amen. Let's be strong in the battle so where we can be worthy of the reward. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. Jesus.